So let's try again. And so what is interesting about this is that the light is being produced by a chemical reaction. But if you have an explosion, you can have light. It's really hot. But this is not terribly hot. Just feel that. Is it hot? But just see if they're being honest. Is that hot? No. So it really is quite cold. Um, now, and you can see the other one's the same. I won't repeat asking people. Now, can molecules are not like people because you or I, if it's cold, start shivering really hard, and if it's hot and warm, like it has been the last few days, we just laze around and do nothing. Molecules move really fast when they're hot and go really slowly when they're cold. So if this is a chemical reaction, we ought to be able to stop it by cooling it down. So in here, in these two containers, I've got liquid nitrogen, which is really cold. It's at minus 196 degrees centigrade. So let's see what happens if we try and cool one of these down. So I'll pour the liquid nitrogen into a beaker. You can see it has quite a nice... So you look like a legal scientist. I am. <laughs> well, actually, I'm a green chemist, which is quite appropriate. Here. Um, so the, the nitrogen starts boiling. Nitrogen is colorless. You can't see it. But because it's cold, it cools the air, and the air contains water. So what you're seeing is essentially a small fog. And So, conveniently, this is on the string because I wouldn't want to cool my finger. We can lower it inside. Ooh, sounded fun. Um, now, there's another one here to compare. And you can see already the one inside is a bit dimmer than this one. Um, and you can see it's nearly gone out. Now, from this experiment, straight away, you can see that if you go to a fun fair or something and buy one of these and take it home and it's bedtime and you'd like to have it the next day, if you pop this in the freezer, it will slow down and the next morning you can warm it up or the next evening because there's no point having light stick during the day. 